Burr's dead in? The birds, the birds and the trees. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> Hi, my name is Helen Murtaugh. I am a newly retired teacher from Sen High School, and I'm also on the um, board of Edgewater Community Council. I'm the co-education chair for, for that august body. And I've taught at Sen for 35 years before my retirement and knew a lot about Edgewater because I'm involved with the cultural mansion on the lake and always wondered why those two entities weren't getting together because I have a fabulous you know, understanding of why Sen is so great. Always have. It's been a terrific place to be. But lately, the good news is that things seem to be changing. Somehow, the Edgewater community is saying we want to get into Sen and somehow Sen is saying let's open our doors and bring in the Edgewater community. So those two entities for the first time politically, economically, socially seem to be you know trying to get together which is wonderful news. It's happening at the um, feeder school level which I know about from my education committee experience. It's happening with um, the inside of the building there's a, a quote that says there's nothing so great as an idea whose time has come and though everyone outside the building doesn't seem to know enough about what's happening inside the building the the leadership over the past nine years at Sen has built an amazing infrastructure it's drawn a million and a half dollars from the Fry Foundation it has had teachers who have applied to Sen and been here happily from the University of Chicago from Harvard from Brown this is a little known fact of Sen and because of this however and because the, um, there's such a strong entity, such a strong presence inside the building, and such an exciting um, diversity inside the building, which has always been Sen's greatest strength, suddenly that, that yearning for diversity for their children is, is bringing families that have never thought about going to the feeder schools nearby to, to be part of Sen. So for me, it's one of the most exciting times in the world. And to capitalize on that, the Sen Local School Council has shown leadership in bringing the Board of Education, local elected officials, um, the Executive Service Corps, and a, a host of other people together, community organizations, to build a strategic plan for SEND for the next five years. That starts in September. And we are having tonight a community meeting to address that very thing and to talk about exciting new ideas. SEND is a, a ripe place for a fine arts wing. It's a fabulous place for a school of international studies to be part of SEND's entity and, and grow with it. So for me, it's a fabulous time. What does the school offer now that you're looking to have it offer in the future? Uh, the International Baccalaureate Program at Sen has been growing and, and successful so much so that it's bigger than ever and is their diploma program has been second only to Lincoln Parks in Chicago. So that would be wonderful to continue with. Uh, the uh, Junior Academy, which features focus on freshmen and sophomores separately, as almost as if they're in different schools, but they're all part of Sen, has been uh, most helpful for counseling and and for you know for focus on academics and the teachers sharing the same kids. It's been it's been quite a place. It, it was a wonderful place to teach, and I wouldn't have missed it for the world. And it is the world, which is part of the reason it's so great. So. Um, that's in. Thank you very much, Owen.